Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I want to speak a little bit about the German 9-11. As always, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. The German 9-11 actually isn't September 11th, but November 9th, since we're, right, we're writing the days first and the month second. So to clarify, I am talking about November 9th, not September 11th. On this day, many important things happen in the history of Germany. First, on November 9th, 1918, the German Republic has been proclaimed, proclaimed and the German Kaiser, Wilhelm II, was dethroned and ultimately fled into exile. Both Philipp Scheidemann and Karl Liebknecht proclaimed the German Republic. Philipp Scheidemann proclaimed a democratic republic and Karl Liebknecht a socialist republic following the Soviet role model. Philipp Scheidemann, together with Friedrich Ebert, who had the support of the army, were able to prevent the socialist republic and formed the first German democracy. Only a few years later, in the year 1923, on the same date, Adolf Hitler launched his putsch in Munich to overthrow the government. But this putsch rapidly failed, and Hitler himself was ultimately arrested, sentenced to five years in prison, but was released after only a few months. On November 9, 1938, the infamous Reichskristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass in English, took place where Nazis destroyed property of Jewish citizens as well as assaulting them, killing them and arresting them and throwing them in concentration camps. And last but not least, on November 9th, 1989, the Berlin Wall fell and citizens from Eastern Germany were allowed to leave the Eastern sector of Berlin and travel to Western Germany. Thank you so much for watching.